good morning. It's about 10.45. I am headed to my mom's office to help her figure out my fitness pal. She's going to try a low carb modified keto kind of as well. So um, she's never used my fitness pal before and she's having a hard time figuring out some things. So I'm gonna go show her. And then I'm headed to the hospital to go do my NICU class and the other class I was supposed to do or the like training check off that I was supposed to do yesterday. So I'm here, I'm going to go do all of that and I'm hoping that I can be home in time to edit tonight's vlog. I don't have any other videos scheduled to go up today so I'm hoping I can edit tonight's vlog. That would be ideal if I can make it home and have like an hour before I have to re-leave again to go to h and Vlog. So we'll see. I'm trying to set myself my morning up for success by leaving the house early because typically I wouldn't have left until like 11.45, 12 o'clock to get to work and to get to my class by 12.30. So I'm hoping at this rate I can help my mom go get the first class done and then go get the second class done and then be able to come back home. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, I am finished. I am headed to go get Emmy. That was a lot longer than I had anticipated it being. <laughs> I got there. After I finished with my mom, I went to the hospital. I got clocked in about 11.30. I got my one like table making class done and then my glucose monitor class done or whatever. I got that, those two things. And I still had to wait 10, 15 minutes for NICU class to start and then I thought the NICU class was an hour. The thing I didn't have to be anywhere super important after because I really thought the NICU class was an hour. That's what it said on the class like when you signed up for it. It said 12.30 to 1.30 so here I am you know thinking ooh 1.30 is almost here. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm only gonna have to be at the hospital for two hours. Well then when the NICU director kept going and kept going and kept going and I was like what the heck? What happened at 1.30? And then I so I asked one of the girls and she was like, oh no, the class is till 2.30. I'm like, what the heck? How come no one told me that on my paper it says till 1.30? So I got out at 2.30 and now I uh, called Andres and Autumn's still sleeping. So instead of going home, I'm just gonna go sit in carpool line because she has to be out in a few minutes anyway. And there's no sense in me going home and having to come back out, especially with how cold it is. It's still in the freezing. And now the roads are fine. The roads are not slick. Um, there's no ice on most of the roads. I'm sure there is ice on bridges and things, but not on most of the roads. It's pretty safe to drive, so yeah. I'm just going to get Emmy and then go home. I have about, once I get home, I'll have about an hour. So if I can help it, I haven't eaten though. I brought a Quest bar and I had that, but I haven't eaten since breakfast. So I really need to eat lunch and then I need to pack my dinner and try and edit if I can. On normal days when I just work at night at h &R, the thing is, is this tax season, I'm going to be switching. I'm going to work days and nights. And because of that, it'll be kind of, my schedule will be a little wonky, but on days that I just work nights, I'll have plenty of time during the day when Autumn's napping or whatever to edit and things like that today, like I said, was just a little bit weird. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go home, have some lunch, pack my dinner, because those are priority, because I can I can edit when I get home. I'll be home probably around 9.30, 9.45, so I can edit. It just makes a really long night for me if I have to edit and then wait for it to export and then upload. So priority is lunch pack dinner and then if I have time I will edit and I may even eat lunch while I'm editing. Kill two birds with one stone, right? Oh, oh, damn. Oh, <laughs> Where are you going? She's running from me. Where are you going? Come here, let me see you. Who put those on you? Who put those on you, Mama? I don't know. Who put them on you, baby? Did Sissy do that? I didn't. I know. Big Sissy did. Adam! Oh! Oh! Big Sissy put those on you, Mama. 
All right, I am out of here. Love you. Love you. Love you. Okay. Love you, mommy. <laughs> Love you, Manny. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Adam. Bye, Daddy. See ya. Can I have a hug? <laughs> you can give mommy a hug. <gasps> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> okay. See ya. <laughs> Good luck, baby. <laughs> it's gonna be a long time. Season. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This is my first rodeo. <laughs> That'll be fun. Don't mind this pink cord is my phone attached to the uh, well, it's the charger attached to my phone, and I have you know what? Forget it. <laughs> I'll just take the phone off of the magnetized thing. So yeah, I'm headed to my first day at H and R Block, and it's January 17th. Typically, I start earlier than this. I'm surprised that the season for me didn't start earlier. I mean, I would have started yesterday, the 16th, but it was, we got snowed in snow, even though we never even got snow. I'm really excited. I can't believe it's tax season already, and I'm excited for more in more than one way. I'm excited simply because it'll get me out of the house a little bit more, but not in 12 hour increments, you know, like if I go pick up at the hospital, I have to work a whole 12 hour shift, which is like an exhausting day. So this is nice to just kind of get out of the house and be able to work a little bit, but not kill myself. You know what I, you know what I'm saying? However, in two weeks, I'm sure I'll be like, <laughs> I'm done with taxes. <laughs> but it's a good three month break that I'm definitely ready for it to be over by April time. But in the beginning, it's exciting. And, and the fact that I get to see my clients, I, this is the 14th year that I've done taxes seasonally. So, I mean, that's a long time to be doing taxes. Some of these clients I've had for years and years and years. So I'm excited to go in. I have my pins and my business cards and everything ready. I'm excited. Setting myself up for success at work. Cheeseburger, leftover cheeseburger casserole and a side salad and I'm trying to get every last little bottle or little drop of <laughs> my avocado ranch luckily I bought more but that is what I'm having for dinner and I'm feeling all I don't know if it's like starting a cold or if it's just allergies but it's scaring my clients <laughs> so far I've had two clients which is great I can't believe I've even had any clients because the IRS is not filing returns until January 29th and they are not sending out refunds until February 27th. So, I'm surprised people are here this early, but that's okay. That's what I'm here for, so I'm about to eat really quick and go sit back at my desk. And as Jordan has very popular... I'm watching fun cheap for free <laughs> when she recorded live I love watching their Q&A's I think they're such a I mean, cute couple you guys remember yesterday when I was telling you oh maybe in the desk will happen to come up here and fold clothes I didn't even tell him about it <laughs> and my wish came true I came home all that laundry I know I know he had a load yep load in the laundry two loads of laundry folded gotta love my hinabini good man to fold laundry but i am so even though i'm so appreciative i did work really hard on the house over the weekend and he helped but it was mainly me and so it's nice to share duties you know it's always not that i think anything's wrong with one person keeping up the household if the other one's working i'm all for doing whatever works for your household but him and i have always done a shared household we both work and we both share housework so it's really nice to like i didn't even have to say anything and <laughs> i mean i told you guys now maybe did you cheat baby did you watch the vlog <laughs> i don't think so because I, no, he couldn't have because I just uploaded it tonight. No, so he didn't cheat. So, oh, that makes me feel good. And I didn't even know I, I didn't come up here since I got home from work. I'm so tired.
not even just from work. I mean, let's be real. I sat there for four hours and I only did two tax returns. So it's not like I did a whole lot. I just, every day I feel like I, my sleep is just not, I'm just not getting enough of it. And tonight too, it's 11.38. I need to get back in, especially now that I'm going to be working more. I need to get back into the routine of being in bed by 10. But I really, when I got home, I had made sure that I edited before I left, which was great. I got it done. I got it exported. So all I had to do when I got home was upload it. So sorry, nights that I work, vlogs are going to be a little up, uploaded a little bit later. Unless I schedule it, I may be able to schedule it earlier if I have enough time to edit, export, and upload during the day. But um, the rest is watching Shameless. So the other night... Uh, yeah, I was like, one of the other nights, he, I said, well, I really want to go upstairs and just lay down and watch Shameless, and he's like, well, what's that show about? So I started telling him, I was like, I was like, you want to watch, you know, a show? So he watched like one and a half or two shows with me, but he watched in season six, and he told me today when I got home, he's like, I have something to tell you. I was like, what? He said, I watched two episodes of that show Shameless, but from the beginning, he's like, I really like it. I said, good. So we played it on Netflix um, and I watched a couple shows with him from the beginning, which I've, this is my third time watching it. <laughs> and there's actually still things that I didn't remember, even though I rewatched it twice, but it was worth the extra hour sacrifice to watch a show that I have enjoyed for a long time now with my Hanny Benny, which he typically does not like anything I watch. So <laughs> that's nice to have something to bond over. Usually I'm the one bonding with him over his shows because I can watch almost anything and adapt to it. He's not like that. He will fall asleep and be utterly bored <laughs> if he does not like the show. So I sacrifice and then to come up here and just put a smile on my face to know that's one less thing I don't have to do tomorrow and tomorrow I can pretty much just hang out because I worked and we did all the hard stuff over the weekend you know like tomorrow I'll probably just do my Etsy orders edit early and straighten up I mean the house is clean deep cleaned which is nice so I'll just straighten up and go about my business maybe catch a bunch of some shows just have a lazy day before I have a long couple of weeks so anywho hopefully you guys enjoyed today sorry it was kind of boring I don't know that really much interesting happened today besides finding out I have a semi-clean bedroom <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed anyway and we'll see you tomorrow bye